So what I want to share with you today is some of that knowledge about how the brain um, and body work together and how we can make our brain work best for us at the times when we most want it to work well. If we could take some scanners now and look at your brains and then we could look at them in half an hour, they would be different. They would be physically different. And that's because everything that we do, and you're doing something now because you're listening, you're listening to what's possibly going to be new information and you're trying to understand it. Everything that we do changes our brain physically. So not just in some kind of wishy-washy imaginary way, but actually physically. So somehow the brain takes something that you struggled with or I struggled with, something I found really difficult during the day, and while we're asleep, our brain will fix on that and start repeating the pathways and also somehow getting rid of the faulty pathways, so the pathways that perhaps were making it difficult, and will strengthen the correct pathways. And so then when we come to try it again, it's that little bit easier. But if we understand from this that just by trying, even if we find it difficult, our brain is going to help us out by reinforcing those pathways, those branches during the night. We know that the brain reacts well to having a break. We know that the brain doesn't work so well if we spend a long time on one task. Our brain gets bored, we get tired, we start not to be learning it very effectively. So it's a good idea to take regular breaks. We also know that socialising, having breaks and having social interaction with other people, face-to-face, -face, not social media interaction, um, is also a good way to improve learning. And we know that exercise has a good effect on learning for a whole, whole bunch of reasons. So the first way you can take control then is by eating well. Now your sports coach, if you were preparing for this big competition, would be saying exactly the same. It's just as important to eat properly for your brain as it is for the other parts of your body. The brain is a very fuel-hungry part of the body. It weighs on average about 2% of our whole body weight, but it uses about 20% of the energy that we put in. So the point about getting some exercise, even if it's just going for a walk, even if it's just taking a break from your work and just walking around the block or just you're going and getting some fresh air for a bit, is that it sends more oxygen to your brain and you need enough oxygen in your brain. So that's what stress is for. That's why feeling nervous before something, before an exam or before a, a race or a match or anything is completely natural, but also a good thing because it's going to make you perform better. But there are some other ways to beat um, bad stress. Very quickly then, there's an instant method and everyone needs to learn this. This is what I needed when I was younger. So here is the overall message then of everything I, that I've said and everything that I write about um, in my books, that you can make a difference to your brain. Thank you. Thank you very much.